Hey, what's up everybody? It's that guy Skimpy. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a rainbow trout pattern on an S swimmer. My buddy Austin, he goes by Snag and Docks on Instagram. Anyways, man, he's a good buddy of mine and he's gonna be fishing this tournament. Actually, a local lake of mine that I fish all the time. Anyways, we get to talking and everything and he's asked me about spots or whatever. And you know, he's pre-fished it a few times. And uh, for the record, I'm not posting this video until the tournament's done. I just wanted to clarify. But anyways, so he was saying that, you know, he's uh, doing really well with like rainbow trout type colors and stuff there. You know, he was taking a look at some of the S swimmers that I, I painted before. And he said, man, I wish I can get my hands on a, an S swimmer that's like a, um, a rainbow trout color. So I told him, you know, hey, let me see what I can do. Anyways, um, he also said that he wanted one with no dots. You know, if you look at a rainbow trout, and I'll put a picture here, um, what I'm talking about, but on a rainbow trout, there's just a lot of little dots everywhere. And uh, can you make one and it just don't put the dots on it? And I was like, oh, okay. And then he said he's gonna uh, bring a Sharpie to the lake and uh, he'll paint them on if he needs them, you know, if he thinks it's necessary. But um, I guess he hooked into a couple trout and he was seeing, and he said that they don't have a lot of spots on them. So he said, hey, can you make one without the spots? So I said, yeah. Let's do it. So anyways, man, um, this is what I came up with, man. Check it out. We start with the base coat of white, making sure to hit everything. And then I spray silver, pretty much like in the middle, mostly on the bottom, but like a little bit on top, but like the whole bottom. And then I do on the head, and even on the top of the head. So here's the pink. And I put it about halfway, put a little bit down the gills here, and I put a little bit on the back. It's going to get covered anyway. But I didn't want to go too crazy with the pink. Um, I'm going to put the green on top. Hopefully it's going to kind of blend in here. I just didn't really want a lot of pink here on the bottom. I just wanted it kind of in the middle. So this color here is watermelon. So I pretty much just put it on the, um, on the head there. And then um, down the back, a little bit on the tail. And then a little bit, not really on the throat, but just right underneath there. Just a little bit of green. This watermelon. So I put scale netting on there and I dusted it with black. Um, I'm still a beginner here, but to me, there's a fine line between too much dusting and too little dusting. And it can kind of make or break the bait, the bait there. And uh, so yeah, so we'll see how this comes out. So it didn't come out too bad. I think I would have put just a tiny bit more black, but you can see the, uh, the scales there, how they come out. But yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, this S swimmer already has, um, you know, the scales inside of the mold itself, but um, like I said, I still wanted the effect on top. Oh, going out of focus there. There it goes. So I kind of wanted it to match. I think it came out pretty cool. Went ahead and threw on some dual molds, hyper eyes. This is the first uh, coat of epoxy. I'm using CS Coatings uh, seal coat. Just brush it on. tail on there. So 
So now it's time to put some hooks. All right, so here it is. It came out pretty cool, man. Nice old number two victory hooks on there. Oh boy. So yeah, man, hopefully this guy, uh, Knocks it out the box with this at his tournament, man. His tournament is on Saturday. Today's actually Thursday, so I had to hurry up and make this for him because I wanted to make sure it was finished and everything uh, by his tournament. So, man, hopefully he, uh, man, hopefully he takes a uh, big bass and in first place and everything, and he uses it on this, man. <laughs> All right. All right, I get to wrap up this video, man. Uh, their tournament is over. It's Saturday right now. Um, they actually took first place and got big bass. So, man, it's an awesome feeling knowing that one of my baits helped them win. Even though they didn't catch all their fish on the S Swimmer that I sent them. But um, at least it helped, man. And it's, it's an awesome feeling knowing that one of my baits worked for them. So, yeah, man, big shout out to Cody and Austin, man. Uh, catching footballs and snagging docks. They, uh, they slayed on the lake this morning man anyways man appreciate you guys watching hopefully you liked the video hopefully you learned something hopefully you like the uh the the trout pattern that i came up with man so here's a video and some pictures my guy skimpy that's what i'm talking about thank you bro thank you so much My guy Skimpy. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much.